Hey there guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a couple of options for super simple foot toys that you can put together for your birds. Uh, now all of these are going to be great options for a variety of different birds and every single one of these toys can be put together in less than a minute. So if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, you want to make sure to stick around because that's going to be coming up right after this. <music> This is Jack over at High Red Bird, where I am tirelessly working to find new ways to make the keeping of exotic animals and pets more exciting, more affordable, and ultimately more enjoyable. Now, in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to put together uh, a couple of super simple foot toys for your parrots. Um, these can be foraging toys. You can, of course, use them to hide food items, but you don't have to. You can also just use them as something for your bird to investigate, to shred and destroy. Uh, so it can be a lot of fun depending on what your needs are. These are all gonna be toys that can come together really, really quickly with toy parts that are readily available. Uh, and I think one of the most important things for people to realize is your toys for your birds don't necessarily have to be the prettiest. Um, you know, we see all the really, really fancy toys in bird stores and at the pet store, and we think that we need to reach that same standard. And that's not the case at all. You can make some really fun, really engaging things for your bird that, you know, maybe they're not the most perfect or the prettiest, but I guarantee you, your bird is going to appreciate them and utilize them. And after all, that is what we are looking for. So without further ado, let's jump into these super easy foraging foot toys. All right, guys. So for this first foot toy, we're just going to need a couple of materials. We're going to need some shredded paper. I'm going to be using something inside to make it a foraging toy. In this case, I'm using some pumpkin seeds. And I'm going to be using some un bleached paper cupcake liners, but depending on the size of your bird, you could use things like coffee filters if you have a bigger bird. And you guys can see that I'm actually making several of these at a time. When you sit down to make your toys, go ahead and make several of them because you've already got the materials laid out. Now you guys can see I'm not putting pumpkin seeds in every single one of them because not every foraging opportunity in the wild would be a win. So I think that not every foraging toy should be a win as well. It gives your bird something to think about if they're used to finding certain food items and they don't. Now you guys can see I'm still putting that small amount of shredded paper in there and it really is a very small amount. Now all I'm going to do is close up the uh, cupcake liner and then I'm going to twist it uh, almost like a piece of hard candy um, so you guys will be able to see a couple of other times. This doesn't have to be the prettiest thing in the world. All you want it to do is hold together. Um, so you guys can see depending on how much paper, how many foraging food items are inside those toys is going to determine how tightly you can get that together. Honestly, that first one is really, really pretty with that nicely flared out paper piece. And you can see the rest of them, they're not quite as pretty. But at the end of the day, what we're aiming for here is something that your bird wants to interact with and to play with. Now, this is a great way to put things together. Your bird can interact with them. You can put so many of these together so cheaply. Um, so here I have a Moluccan cockatoo getting this same toy, but made out of a coffee filter. Uh, inside this, there are some almonds. So he is having a lot of fun with that. And you guys can see that he is definitely thinking about it. He's focused on it. So it's a great foot toy. Tons more interaction than it took me to put that one together. Now for our second foot toy, we're again gonna need that shredded paper and those pumpkin seeds, and I'm gonna use a paper towel roll. Now I don't need an entire paper towel roll, so I'm just gonna cut this one in half. Obviously save the other half because you can use that to make this exact same toy again, 
or you could use it to make a different one. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is fold the entire thing flat, and then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees, fold it the other way. Make sure that you're really creasing those edges because it's going to make it easier to do what we need to do. When you have it so that it's almost like a square, push down on two opposite sides, and it's going to fold neatly into position once you have one side closed up you can go ahead and stuff this to your heart's delight. So if you wanted to make it just shredded paper, if you want to do the shredded paper and several of those pumpkin seeds, uh, you can go ahead, put that in there, do a little bit more shredded paper so that your bird really has to work for this. And then close up the opposite side the exact same way that you closed up that first side. It's going to catch on itself. It holds together really, really nicely. And because we did those folds at first, you guys can see that it's really, really easy to get those ends closed and into the position that you want. Now, a toy like this is a great foot toy for a larger bird because they can pick up, they can manipulate the entire toy. But if you have a smaller bird, they can still interact with something like this as well. They can maybe play with it while it's on the ground. Uh, I have a green cheek conure that likes to roll items like this around. So playing with a toy like this is a lot of fun. Now, if you have a little bit of difficulty getting the folds right, there's an even easier way to do this. Again, we're going to need some shredded paper, some pumpkin seeds. We're going to take that remaining half of a paper towel tube, and I'm just going to put in some cuts all around both sides. Now, I want these cuts to be, uh, in terms of length, at least half the diameter of the paper towel roll because when I fold them down, I want them to be able to catch the flaps on the other side. And you guys can see that they are pretty close together. They're not perfect. They're not even, but they are uh, probably between, uh, you know, around a half an inch or so. Um, some are a little bit smaller, some are a little bit bigger, but I'm just going to go ahead, do that the entire way around the paper towel tube on both sides. So you can see when you fold that down, it needs to be a little bit more than half. All I'm going to do on one side is fold all of those sides down. And it can be a little bit tricky at first. They start to pop back up. They don't really have anything to catch on when you're just folding the first couple. But once you get all of them, they do hold on to each other really, really nicely. And once we have one side done, just like that last toy, we can fill this up the exact same way. So some of that shredded paper, some of those pumpkin seeds. Uh, you guys can see the shredded paper really goes so far. If you don't have this in your toy making arsenal, I definitely recommend it because it's one of my favorite things to use. And now we're just going to go ahead and push those flaps down. The benefit of this one over the last toy, your bird can still see inside. They'll be able to see that shredded paper. So it can be really, really exciting for your bird to interact with things like this. So here's just a couple of ideas for really simple, really fun foot toys. You can throw these together in a matter of seconds, if I'm being honest. Uh, I definitely recommend getting yourself set up and putting multiple toys together at one time. That way you have more toys ready to go. But your bird is definitely going to enjoy things like this. They don't have to be the prettiest things and your bird will still love them. So I thank you guys for watching this video. If you like content like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. I do need to say thank you to my Patreon patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can find out more by visiting High Red Bird on Patreon or clicking the link in the description section down below if you would like more information. Thanks! Mm -hmm.